Now, before this video starts, I just want to quickly mention that I am feeling a bit under the weather today. So if I do sound, let's just say more sick, just understand that, you know, I guess from partying all night and going clubs every night this weekend, basically for Easter, it wasn't the best idea. And I did have a crazy Easter story for you guys. But honestly, since Easter did technically already pass, I don't think it's worth saying. But I mean, let's just say if this video does get 1000 likes, we will probably maybe say it. I don't know. Up to you guys. But other than that, as usual, today's story is going to be something insane. And honestly, it's kind of crazy. Crazy, not gonna lie. But on top of that, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, we tell crazy stories in here all the time. And honestly, if you guys do want to get in contact with me or even tell me your stories to talk on here, then I will gladly love to do that. Message me on Instagram, join the Discord server, or come join the Twitch streams where we go live and basically tell all these crazy stories live in action. Anyways, guys, let's just get straight into this. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another crazy story. So as you guys can tell from the title, 24 hours in her bathroom. This was not a fun idea. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how in the world did you get stuck in a bathroom for 24 hours? And uh, to be honest, it all starts off back in high school. You see, back when I was in high school, this was my grade 11th year. Uh, the grade 11th year was, let's just say, not the best for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wasn't ugly at the time. And, you know, once in a while, I, I won't lie to you. There was a girl that I would sneaky link once in a blue moon. Or actually, once in a blue moon, maybe like five times a month. But going on. Anyways, I remember one time, I remember I was laying in bed in my room, kind of just bored out of my mind. It was during the weekend, and let's just say no one had plans. Obviously, being in grade 11, I guess, I don't know, I was so focused on myself, and it was during, like, when finals was happening, so I guess a lot of people were just putting their head in the books. But I remember one time, out of nowhere, I think it was, like, at 3 a.m., a girl messaged me saying, hey, like, do you want to, like, come over? And yes, before anyone says anything, this was one of my sneaky links. She literally told me to come over because she wanted to do the devil's tango. And honestly, I was all for it. But obviously, for me to go to her place, I would would have to sneak in. So I remember I went to my car. I got inside my amazing blue car that I love to this day, the blue Silica, and I drove down to her place. When I got to her place, I parked my car a bit further down the street. So let's just say her parents wouldn't recognize a nice blue sports car in front of their place. And I remember I literally went around and basically she brought me in from the back door. I was in her basement for a bit, kind of just chilling with her and kind of just, you know, doing our thing. Or I guess in a sense, I should be saying doing the devil's tango. And we went at it for a while. Now, reminder, this was almost at like three. 3 a.m. when I did this. So we were up probably till like 6 a.m. And when it was 6 a.m., I remember her basement had like one singular bathroom, a bed with like, a, I don't know, a blow up mattress, I guess. And obviously, you know, just the basic stuff. Funny enough, there's also a TV down there. But I remember when me and her were on that blow up mattress, we were going at it for a while, like I said. And let's just say when 6 a.m. hit, we heard thunting coming from upstairs. Apparently, it was her father coming down the stairs and we were in panic. I remember she looked at me saying, oh my god like you gotta hide like right now like just go to the bathroom just go 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 and she started pushing me towards the bathroom and i remember telling her okay just make sure you're like you know like you just tell me when the coast's clear as i went inside the bathroom it was my first time actually in there funny enough because i didn't need to go in there all night until now and at 6 a.m i remember she pushed me in there i was stuck in there her parent came downstairs aka her dad i should say and walk started walking around saying why are you down here why are you down here by yourself why are you sleeping in the basement and not in your bedroom let's just say he was basically asking her questions of why in the world is she in the damn basement which i mean i don't blame him he's not wrong like it's kind of suspicious and it's not like the basement was like a magical place anyway but going on i remember after a while all i hear is her and her dad go upstairs and i was left in downstairs now in my head i'm thinking oh I'm like hey i don't hear anything I, I, I guess i can just leave i try to open the door but what i realized was that the door wouldn't open for some reason my side of the door the knob was broken and it wasn't fixed i guess in some way i don't know it was just a broken door and i remember i I was stuck in that bathroom. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably like, oh, why don't you just go on your phone and just call her? You're so unrealistic with these stories. And maybe you're right in a sense, but guys, you gotta remember, this was a basement, and this basement had, like, concrete walls, I guess. I have no idea. And I'm gonna be honest, it didn't smell the best down there, but the thing is, is that I had no cell service in that basement. For some reason, my cell service was totally off. Honestly, I blame my parents for giving me a cheap phone plan at the time, but I'm gonna be realistic here. This sucked. I was in a basement, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. My phone wouldn't work. The most I could do is probably go back and, you know, watch some old videos that I have recorded on my phone. But other than that, I was in ultimate lockdown. Luckily, there was food and water down there. I mean, okay, not really food, but water was there. And in terms of food, I'm not gonna lie. There was a plant in the bathroom. It had nice leaves and I did bite a couple of them. But I remember saving some because I wasn't sure how long I was down there for. Now, you guys are probably wondering like, oh, like, did the girl ever come downstairs again? Like, what's going on? And no, she didn't. Funny enough, she thought 
already left her place. And knowing it was 6 a.m., she also went to school. She literally got dressed, went to school, and since my car wasn't in front of her place, she thought I actually left. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what in the world did I do? Well, what else can you do when you're stuck in a bathroom for 24 hours? You just sit there and wait till someone gets you out. Now, honestly, it sucked, and I was just sitting there the whole time not knowing what I was doing. It got to the point where I wasn't sure if I should even stay quiet anymore and hide in that bathroom because, well, hell, I want to get out of there. But at the same time, if I started screaming and yelling, it was obvious one of her parents were going to find me and I would have been in big, big trouble. So honestly, at this point, it was, let's just say the worst of the worst. I sat there. I laid down. I think I took more than four naps down there, but I'm not going to lie. In terms of food, I ended up eating a lot of her plant that was downstairs. And it got to the point where I was like, screw it. Like, I need to get out of here now. Like, I, I can't be in here anymore. This is so dumb. Now, at this time, when I was contemplating breaking down the door, I won't lie to you. This was like almost like 12 a.m. at night, late, late night. I was in there for the whole day. I haven't eaten. Sleeping was harder than it looked. It was just crazy. And to be honest, I had no way to get myself out. I didn't know what my parents were thinking. I, I To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they reported me missing, for God's sake. So I remember I ended up actually saying, screw it. I'm breaking the door down. And the door was just an old wooden door. It wasn't like that good of a door, to be honest. It wasn't like steel or anything. But I remember I literally got my foot and I kicked the door down as if I was in the FBI SWAT team. Now, you guys are probably thinking like, oh, there's no way your foot can just do that. And I won't lie. There's many times where I actually ran like into the door with my shoulder. But hearing that loud thud over and over downstairs, I guess someone heard me from upstairs because right after I broke through that door, I hear two footsteps coming down the stairs. It wasn't one person. It was two. And one of them was the chick that I was doing the devil's tango with and her dad, her dad in a bathroom robe. I remember her dad looked at me and I remember she looked at me all freaked out saying, you're still here? And I remember when her dad heard her say that, her dad looked at her, looked at me, and said, still? Oh, boy. This was really bad, because I remember her dad sat me down on the couch downstairs and said, you were in my bathroom for how long? And I had to mention the whole story to him and basically apologize for, well, not only, you know, doing the devil's tango with her daughter, but at the same time, I guess, being locked in their house for 24 hours. I'm not gonna lie, the dad was more upset with the girl than me, because, well, hell, I was in their bathroom for 24 hours. It sucked. But if I'm being honest, just make sure you guys fix your doors. Just, just please. I'm sick of doors not working. I love bathrooms, but I don't love them that much. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for the story. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it was really fun telling you guys this one. And honestly, be careful in crazy situations. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.